This is the first video in a series of five in which you will learn how to make this animated and interactive infographic with Adobe Animate and Adobe Illustrator CC. You'll learn how to make all these moving, rotating and interactive elements. But first, we'll take a look at the original Adobe Illustrator file. And when we've done that, we'll import it in Adobe Animate. The basic file you see here is an infographic that I designed for a Dutch energy company. It was originally created for print, but I've slightly adjusted the size and object placement to make it fit correctly in the interactive version. This version can be placed on websites, interactive magazines and applications. The layer structure in this illustrator document will be converted into Adobe Animate Timeline layers, so it's important to set them up properly first. In this case, I've created two layers, one layer for all moving objects and one for all the background objects. Now I'm going to set up the Adobe Animate file. In the Animate Start screen you can best choose Advanced and then HTML5 Canvas. We can also set up the document size here. This has to be 900 by 500 pixels because that's exactly the size of our original Illustrator file. We can now easily import the Adobe Illustrator file in Animate. To do this, go to File, Import and then Import to Stage. This is because we want to place the Illustrator file immediately on our stage. First select your file and then make sure Select All Layers is checked and click Import. You see that all objects are placed now and can be selected separately. This means that we can animate them now. But before we do that, I first lock my background layer, because I don't want to move my background contents accidentally when I start animating. You can do this by clicking the background layers lock button in the timeline panel. So, now you know how to import your illustrator assets, we can start animating the first items in the next video.